गुड आफ्टरनून स्टूडेंट्स टुडे हियर इन द फर्स्ट पार्ट ऑफ टूडे क्लास इज लीनियर इक्वेशन ऑफ टू वेरिएबल हियर आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन द लास्ट प्रोसेस एंड इन योर सिलेबस अकॉर्डिंग टू सिलेबस एंड मार्क डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन यू विल गेट फ्रॉम दिस एज ए ब्रेक पार्ट यू विल गेट सेवेंटीन मार्क्स एज इन टोटल फ्रॉम दिस चैप्टर and as i had explained earlier the uh, methods which method you will apply that will be indicated in your question paper otherwise you will follow any one method so this is i am going to show you today the cross multiplication method some of the students think of that that this is a very complicated method no it is not practically we know the form of ax plus by plus c equal to 0 this is the format of the equation of linear equation of two variable as we are getting two equations here one another one to solve the problem if i give the number <coughs> A one B one C one regarding the first equation, A M A two. So this is the equation number two. A two x B two y C two plus C two equal to zero. So through cross multiplication method, I am showing a simple way to remember the formula. Has such that you can do it very easily. So, in this texture, first I am going to write both the equation in the format of a x plus b y plus c. That is i have converted both the equation in the original format of ax plus by plus c in this form so now as it is given number equation 1 and it is equation number 2 so these these are a1 b1 and c1 it is a2 b2 and c2 so first to solve this simple here x here y here 1 now we shall put the value you students make a mistake which one and the uh, after what it will come a simple way that is i am writing bc minus bc ca Minus C A, A B minus A B. Now, B C C A A B. You have to remember two points. The for serial is B C C A and A B. And how? And another point you must remember twelve twenty one. These two values. B one C two twelve twenty one twelve twenty one B C C A A B twelve B one C two B two C one twelve twenty one I am telling this just to rem remember this very easily a simple technique to remember it so here B one C two minus B two C C one A two. Minus C two A one. 
a one b two minus a two b one. Now I shall put the values accordingly. Here b one means from the first equation a one b one c one from the first equation b a two b two c two from the second equation. I am putting the values here. Here B one, it is the B one into C two. Sorry, one by B one into C two minus two minus B two C one B two C one. C one A two C two A one. A one B two A one B two minus A two B one Now I am going to calculate both this. Say if I x, if I take b square as LCM, then it will be minus two b plus a plus b equal to here a square as LCM, a square as LCM minus A plus B plus two A by one. LCM is A square B square. Then it will be A minus B by one. B square. Or if I Calculate it x a 
a plus b minus two b by a square equals b minus a minus b plus two a by a square equals b. Into b minus a one by b minus b by a square b square or a minus b by b square equal to a minus b by a square equal to 1 by a minus b by a square b square. So these are the three equations. Now I am going to the last stage. Therefore, either x by a minus b by b square equal to 1 by a minus b by a square b square. <coughs> then, if I convert it, say, or by multiplying this b square x by a minus b equal to a square b square by a minus b or if I cancel these two denominators that is b square x equal to a square b square or x equal to a square b square by b square then it will be cancelled and you will get therefore x equal to a square this is the first value of the solution second one y by a minus b by a square and equal to 1 by a minus b by a square b square or a square y by a minus b equal to a square b square by a minus b or this is cancelled a square y equal to a square b square or y equal to a square b square by a square, a square a square cancel, therefore y equal to b square. So this is the way how to solute. You have to remember the formula thus x equal to a square and y equal to b square. This is the solution of the given equation. So it's simply what to do? you have to if the equation is not in ax plus by plus c form then you have to write that equation in the form of ax plus by plus c equal to 0 you have to first convert the given equation into this form and both the equation into this form after formatting this you remember the chronology that is BC, CA, AB. BC minus BC, CA minus CA, AB minus AB. And the values of will be given say A1221, B1C2, B2C1. Similarly, C1, A2. C2 A1. Next A1 B2. Then A2 B1. BC CA AB. This is the chronology. And from the first equation, you will put the values here, the variables, whatever are there along with the variables with the constant. 
that is x the variable of x coefficient that is said the coefficient of x coefficient of y and c is the constant constant so from the first equation all the coefficient of x y all are will be 1 and 2 it means the second equation so by putting this value you can simply calculate the value of x and y to find the solution in this process and one math you will get of this cross multiplication process from linear equation of two